they've been very aggressive lately in bringing audits against um, small businesses such as um, restaurants, grocery stores, where they have to report their monthly uh, sales tax to the state on the ST1 form. The state of Illinois has now started cross-referencing these ST1 monthly income figures with their yearly income tax return um, totals. And whenever there's a discrepancy, they're bringing these audits to figure out how long discrepancies have occurred for. And this can result in very large increases in tax load, as well as significant penalties to each of these uh, businesses. We're advising all of our clients right now is to make sure that these monthly income uh, figures that they're reporting on the ST1s are cross-referenced with their POS reports. If they have a um, an updated POS system, they should be able to print these out directly and they need to cross-reference these figures with their ST1s before they're submitted. Um, all of our clients that are currently facing these audits, that's the first thing that the um, Department of Revenue examiners are looking at. They want to see what did the report say, what was reported, and why was this different. Uh, the best way to prevent any type of uh, contact from the Department of Revenue is to make sure that your books are right moving forward. If there was an accident in the past where th there was a discrepancy in your reporting, if you can show that since you've reviewed uh, your most recent uh, monthly statements that they are accurate, that will significantly reduce the chance of the department assessing these very large 50% penalties for willful uh, action to not pay the full amount of tax that's owed. Uh, the most important advice we can provide uh, small businesses would be to um, update uh, your POS software um, as it's recommended on a monthly basis and make sure that you're reviewing the figures that are reported um, on those ST1 returns because the state is now looking at them very carefully.